Now, before I get into this list, let me just remind you about the Grow Paradise Seed Club, which is our seed subscription box for weird and wonderful seeds. Every single month, we will send you three varieties of seed with hand-drawn illustrations of what you'll be growing, plus a step-by-step -step video showing you how to sow the seeds every single month. Now, all of this is supported by the Grow Paradise social forum, where there's an exclusive Seed Club members group, where we just share pictures and updates and share with each other what's working and what's not to help us grow as many of these weird and wonderful tropical style seeds as possible. I'll put a link to that down in the description. Right, let's get to this list. So number one on my list of tropical style plants that you can grow easily from seed is this beautiful single stemmed tree. Now you can see quite a thick woody stem here. This plant is only two or three years old from seed and it's got amazing architectural foliage. Now the Latin name for this is Vasconelia pubescens. Common names include the mountain papaya or pawpaw. This is the fruiting tree that I mentioned earlier in the video. Now you can see right inside you've got these tiny greeny white flowers in clusters that emerge from the stems and these will keep emerging as the plant grows and once they're pollinated you'll get lush papaya fruit hanging down off of the stem. Now there's something to note with papaya plants is that some of them, and I think this one is one of them, are dioecious, meaning that separate plants, one is male and one is female. So you need two plants in order to pollinate these flowers and to get the fruit. And because this is a lonely papaya in my tropical style garden here in the UK, it's not bearing any fruit. I don't think this is the same for all of them, but I don't mind because it's very cool seeing that cluster of flowers on the stem in the middle, but the architectural foliage that you get off of a plant like this. And this one is growing probably up to about 10 feet this year. So that's 10 feet in two to three years from seed. Now growing papaya from seed is really, really easy. It's quite small, relatively hard pitted seed, and you just sow them as you would the majority of seeds into good quality seed compost. And after about four to six weeks, you get good signs of germination. And once they're up and away, they grow really, really quickly. Now, if you want this to form um, into a multi branched tree, you just cut the top off, which is known as the, the uh, apical meristem or the dominant meristem. That's the dominant growing point. If you remove that, then it will send out side shoots from the auxiliary buds here. And then you'll have a nice branching tree. Growing papaya trees from seed is really easy. Now this one, as I said, the common name is the mountain papaya. And I've mentioned before that plants that originate from mountainous regions are really good, really well adapted to tolerating cold temperatures at the high altitudes that mountains provide, which makes them really good candidates for temperate countries, countries like the UK that have some mild spots. Now, if we're gonna talk in, in terms of USDA hardiness zones, I would say that Vasconelia pubescens, the mountain papaya, sort of needs a zone 9b upwards. And that's just on the border of where my garden sits. So this one's getting a bit too big for the greenhouse and I might leave it out next year. I'll leave it out over winter to see if it survives and see how big it gets next year. Now this one is growing in a pot, which is just staked down at the base, just down here. And that's just to make it a bit easier for me to overwinter if that's what I decide to do. But we'll see. My wife absolutely loves this plant, so I don't want to lose it. Now the next one is a plant that I featured a few times and I cannot urge you enough to have a go at growing this from seed. This is Musa sikkimensis from Sikkim in India and again from mountainous regions. So this plant is really well adapted to to dealing with cold temperatures. Now, bananas have a notorious reputation for being difficult to grow from seed. But the trick is to give them an area where they get warm daytime temperatures and cooler nighttime temperatures, and that will trigger germination. And I've actually done a video all about how to germinate Musa sycamensis from seed. And I'll link that in the top corner and in the video description. Because if you can grow something like this, which is only about 18 months to two years old from seed. And this is towering up over my head. You can see I'm looking upwards at it here. It's incredibly fast growing. And because it's from the mountainous regions and because it's got that cold tolerance, this is planted into the ground. And hopefully 
it will get through winter. Now I will provide a bit of extra protection for this banana plant during winter because when you grow plants from seed, you are always a little bit more precious about them. But I've got to say, this is easily my favorite banana plant that I've ever grown because you've got this beautiful red midrib going through the center of this enormous leaf with red banding going through the leaves. It's so striking. And when the young leaves emerge, they've got this coppery red underside. Now, each new leaf has this marking, but as the leaf stays on a plant and matures, these markings fade. So you can see here, they don't stay all the time, but that's okay because as bananas grow and you get these new shoots emerging, you just cut back each one of these old leaves and you'll be, have loads of them replaced with these really striking red streaked new leaves. Now this one, this Musa sycamensis, sometimes called the Darjeeling banana, is definitely one that's worth a grow. And this is forming the canopy over the next plant, the final plant on my list of three exotic style plants that you can easily grow from seed. Now this enormous shrub was grown from seed two years ago. I've planted it into the ground because again, this is said to be reasonably hardy. It tolerates zones nine upwards and it's Fuchsia Boliviana. It has these amazing gigantic kind of velvety green leaves on thick fleshy stems and it's so vigorous. This was cut right back so that I could overwinter it in the greenhouse last year. I've planted it out and it is easily six to seven foot tall now, but it's not just the leaves you grow it for. It's these clusters of really stunning tubular flowers. Now I imagine with a flower form this long, it's probably pollinated by something like a hummingbird or a specialized butterfly or moth. They are so striking and it's so floriferous. You can see here, this is all of the old seed pods. So it started flowering at this point and it's just flowered and flowered and flowered and flowered. And the fact that seed pods are forming means that it is good for native pollinators. Something is pollinating this successfully. And it also means that I will have loads and loads of seeds to sow more of these plants. Because as I say, this is list, a list of tropical and exotic style plants that are easy to grow from seed. And to grow something as stunning as this, that is hardy in mild parts of the UK, it's definitely worth a go. Now, if your garden is somewhere that's kind of below USDA gardening zone nine, don't worry because that still means it's gonna be much easier to overwinter than many other plants. You can grow this in a pot and just bring it indoors into a unheated conservatory or a porch if you've got one, somewhere with a bit of light for winter and it will be much easier to overwinter and it's definitely worth a grow because you can see this one is sort of up and all around this space. It's really filling out nicely. Now I'm hoping next year I get more flowering stems and I will be growing lots more of these from stem cuttings because I've got so much material here because I say this one flowers and grows so vigorously that it gives you lots of material for propagation if that's something else that you're into. Hopefully this list of only three plants that you can grow easily from seed has inspired you to have a go at growing some of your own plants from seed. And I really do urge you just to check out the Grow Paradise Seed Club. You can just sign up for one month and give it a go. And if you're not happy, you're free to cancel at any time you like, but it's great fun. And I personally have grown so many plants from seed this year that I wouldn't have done if it wasn't for the Grow Paradise Seed Club. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video and any of the other content that you've seen on this channel. It's the easiest way to help this community grow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.